Well, we now come to a special award which isn't part of the main Wild Screen competition. This award is given by the Wild Screen Committee to a man who's made a very special contribution to natural history filming over the years. And here to reveal his identity is naturalist, conservationist, broadcaster. Indeed, his contributions to our way of life are too numerous to mention. He's also chairman of our jury, Sir Peter Scott. This year, our special award goes to a man who has truly been a pioneer in the production of wildlife films. His early work in Germany was mainly in the field of educational films, about animals mostly, and these proved to be so entertaining and employed such innovative techniques that they were later enjoyed by millions of general television viewers. Back in 1954, I saw one of the films when it was presented at a congress in Baal in Switzerland. And the following year, I was privileged to present it on British television together with the man who made it. The showing of the film not only jammed the BBC switchboard at Lyme Grove, but also it became the inspiration of many of those engaged in wildlife program production who are here this evening. The film was, of course, that great classic, Woodpeckers. And the man himself, who's joined us tonight from his home in Munich, and whom we now honor, is Heinz Seelmann. if I may say so, how nice it is to see Peter Scott and uh, Heinz Seelmann reunited on television. I speak, of course, as one of those who's old enough to remember their first meeting in a studio. As Sir Peter's just said, they discussed the famous film about woodpeckers. In Germany, uh, you... And uh, Heinz Seelmann is still at it. He's got a regular program on German television, and next month he's off to Nepal, I'm told, to complete uh, a film project about pheasants. And it's very good to have him with us, I must say, this evening. 